There's loads of things which I've eaten in the past year, well since I cooked last time. I've been like going traveling around eating in loads of really cool places and like kind of gathering ideas. Um, I wanted to base it mainly, I mean I'm prepping a piece of meat, but mainly vegetable based. It's got a really nice pumpkin dish. Um, all the four starters, well, minus the rocket on this, uh, all vegetarian. It was like spring, which was really fun. So it was like all greens, loads of greens, nice kind of light vegetables and peas, and we did loads of stuff like that. And there wasn't any dairy in May's menu, apart from the milk sorbet. This is like a total opposite to that, where there's a lot of fat, there's lots of butter, lots of rich kind of sauces, lifted with like citrus or something, but I wanted to be kind of like winter and warming, tasty food that was moorish. Hokkaido pumpkin, we just bake it in the oven at a low temperature, so it gets no color, but it's like a really intense flavor. We serve that with preserved lemon sauce, with uh, dulce, which is the seaweed, flying fish rope, and some sorrel, and some pumpkin seeds. And then the main is cod, so there's like no meat up until this point at all. And we just do a small portion of cod with salsify, cooked in bergamot juice and butter, Blanche and cavolo nero, dressing it more, uh, bergamot juice and bergamot zest, and then we've made a sauce, just like a clarified fish stock mixed with chicken stock. So the idea is like a really fragrant, nourishing, warming sauce that goes over it. And then we've made some miso, we call it miso bomb, or umami bomb. So we dehydrated miso and then blended it. So it's like a seasoning, it's like salt. With the fish skin, which we have here, making chicharrones, basically. So here we have a piece of cod skin, which we uh, dry out. Uh, all day, like 100 degrees in the oven. So the idea is like, it's fish skin crackling. Uh, so yeah, just drop that in and it'll puff up. Beef rib for the extra course. Uh, we've got it from Swelldale, like we get most of our meat from, but this is like an older cow, it's like from four or five years old. I wanted to do something inspired by Echtabari, a meal I had in Spain, where they you eat like an old dairy cow. You get really nice marbling in it, amazing fat. Um, and we could have got Spanish beef, but we wanted to decide to go English. So we're gonna we cook it like on a really really high heat, really pink, and serving it with calzones, which are like spring onions, which are kind of grown for longer and they pile up the mud on them so they get bigger and bigger. And it's like a real seasonal thing from Catalonia. Pudding, it's just two ingredients. Clementines, everyone gets clementines in their stockings. It's aromatic, delicious. So make a curd with the clementines and then we make a buttermilk sorbet, which goes on top. And then we do a granita with the clementine with the juice. We finish it with a biscuit, which we make from caramelized and then roasted buttermilk solids and then some fresh mint. It's like a really fresh, light, zingy pudding. 